Good morning, folks. <clears throat> Snapzilla Gorilla coming at y'all with a very quick video. Okay. Now, first off, I want to say shout out to um, Brian from High Impact Flicks for bringing this back to my attention. Um, I was aware of this code um, back when I was in uh, the useless college, um, you know, trying to get an education uh, a few years ago. Um, but, you know, he brought it back to light and shout out to Brian from High Impact Flicks. But what I want to direct your attention to is 18 U.S. Code 242. 18 U.S. Code 242. I wanted to bring this to y'all attention before I forgot about it, you know, so I don't have it up in front of me right now, but I will pull it up later on because I got a video I'm going to be doing about Donald Trump. OK, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a video about Donald Trump and, 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 and this video is going to be applied to any politician, any politician that deems himself a ruler over us and, and, and decides to create laws that will go against our rights. 18 U.S. Code 242. And basically what that's is the deprivation of rights law. OK, anybody under the color of law who dictates that there should be a law or under the anybody under the color of law who violates the rights of any human being in the United States is supposed to be fined or sentenced up to one year in prison under the color of law. OK, meaning now we're talking about law enforcers here. We're talking about people who call themselves law enforcers. We're talking about people who call themselves politicians who create laws. We're talking about the legislators. Any law created that goes against the rights laid out in the Constitution and your implied rights. Let's not forget that. OK, there are also implied implied rights that do not have to be spelled out in the Constitution. OK, yet they, they, they tend to violate them every day. So we have rights laid out in the Constitution and we have rights not laid out in the Constitution that are implied rights. OK, understand that the, the Constitution does not grant, like, grant rights. What it does is it recognizes certain rights it highlights certain rights that should not under any circumstance be violated okay so 18 us code 242 go look that up i'm going to bring it up in another video um in regards to you know donald trump and any politician you know because you got some people who are suffering from cognitive dissonance and you know they no matter what donald trump does he can't do no wrong well I was able to actually convince one woman <laughs> that maybe Donald Trump was not the savior that she thought he was going to be. Anyway, 18 U.S. Code 242 lays out that under the color of law, if anyone violates rights laid out in the Constitution and your implied rights, they shall be sentenced to up to one year in prison and fined. Okay? But here's the kicker. If that violator kidnaps or attempts to kidnap you in doing so, in violating your rights, if they try to kidnap you under the color of law, we're talking about law enforcers who arrest people for dumb shit, for shit that does not even, for, 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 for nothing that, for no crime. We're talking about law enforcers that arrest people or kidnap people when they have committed no crime because that person did not comply with their arbitrary bullshit. We're talking about police officers here. Police officers or any, you know what I mean? Any or, or any politician that would sanction the kidnapping, like a police chief or a judge that would deem it uh, 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 deem it necessary for you to go to trial any judge that would not dismiss that case that you were arrested for should also be placed under this rule okay should be seen under this rule so if during the commission of the violating of your rights they arrest you they arrest you then they can be sentenced to up to life imprisonment and even death they could be sentenced to death 
for arresting you on some bullshit while violating your rights. Okay? It, it, that is laid out in the US, 18 U.S. Code 242. Point blank and period. We got to recognize that these people have no power over us. All this shit was laid out when the Constitution was made. These people, they knew that this was ha would happen. The shit that they're doing now, the shit they're doing with the coronavirus and the, and the, and the upcoming forced vaccination that they they're going that you know they're gonna try to push. All this shit they're doing that they call themselves uh, 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 for you, uh, doing it for your safety. Uh, they're taking your guns for your safety. They're taking away this right for your safety. They're taking away that right for your safety. The person that introduced that you, the Patriot Act should have been sentenced to death. But not sentenced to death. because well, well, yeah, because guess what? That, that Patriot Act that was created caused hundreds and thousands of people to be arrested on some bullshit because of that Patriot Act. So anybody that arrested anybody under the Patriot Act under suspicion of terrorism, even though there's no proof, there was no crime committed, sins to death, point blank and period. That's how we got to look at this shit. We got to come at them with the shit that they created long ago. Okay? You, uh, 18 U.S. Code 242. Look it up. It's right there, laid out in black and white. And speaking of that coronavirus, I also have a presentation plan for the coronavirus. Speaking on the coronavirus, I have uh, some information that's crazy uh, that I didn't, you know, it's going to be some more dot connected going on, all right? You know, uh, it's time to get some to some truth behind the coronavirus and the Wuhan pro province in particular, okay? The Wuhan province in particular, in particular, there's some interesting things going on there or interesting thing that something interesting that went on there that, you know, that might have something to do with the coronavirus. There's a there's a there's a heavy correlation there, uh, a heavy correlation. So anyway, 18 U.S. Code 242, look it up, become familiar with it. We have to arm ourselves with any weapon possible to protect us, to protect our rights, to protect our children, because they are coming for us. You understand what I'm talking about? They are coming for us. They're coming for our children. The children are our future. They're talking about by uh, uh, 2025, one in, a, one in every two children will have autism. And they're working hard to push toward that goal. With this, with, with, with coronavirus, Zika virus, every year something, Zika, Ebola, something. And now that China is having all these uh, quarantines, 65 million people, uh, over 100 people dead, over 70 something thousand cases. Trust me, trust me, it's coming down the pike. They're going to try to, whatever, and it might not be the coronavirus that pushes it, but every time something like this happens, the people become more and more vulnerable. The, the, the walls of defense uh, uh, get lower and lower. So it might not be the coronavirus that does it, but trust and believe they are coming down the pike with those forced vaccinations on everybody. School age, not school age, adult, anybody that want to work, anybody that wants anything to do with this, anything to do with anything. Anyway, anyway, you 18 US Code 242, go look it up, get, become familiar with it, and let's arm ourselves with this knowledge. Why aren't lawyers presenting this shit every time this happens? Like every time somebody's arrested for some false bullshit, for an, arbit for an arbitrary law that makes no sense, that's just designed to, to, to extract money from people, to extract free labor from people when they put you in the prison and they get, get and they have you uh making license plates and breaking rock curries and shit and all that shit man become familiar with that code it's it, it's the code it's the law right they 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 love laws this is a country of laws right so let's follow the law to the t 18 us code 242 boom right there you violate somebody's rights under the color of law you should you shall be shall be shall be fined or arrested or, uh, or uh, in prison for a year and if you kidnap somebody or attempt to kidnap somebody under the color of law while violating their rights you can get sentenced to death you shall be sentenced possibly to death or 25 years of life imprisonment anyway 
I'm on this shit. I, I'm, I'm not playing no games, man. This, this, look, we, hey, yo, yo, yo. Let's get real with this shit, man. We have to arm ourselves. Anyway, again, holla at y'all later. Go check Brian from High Impact Fix out if y'all haven't yet. Uh, he's, do, he's doing great work. And uh, yeah, holla at your boy.